Hello, Chris Bauer here again, and today I'd like to talk to you about my five tips for safe breast playing in COVID. And this is uh, in response to a great report from uh, the French Association of uh, Music Instrument Manufacturers. I've got a longer blog about that uh, with links to a webinar and some documentation from them. So uh, I'll put a link for that below. Uh, but right now, let's talk about five quick tips for safer brass playing uh, in COVID. Here we go. Tip number one, mouthpiece. Every pupil should have their own mouthpiece. No mouthpieces should be shared. Tip number two, where possible, make sure your room is well ventilated. And by that, that means that fresh air can get in and out of the room. So good old fashioned open windows. Don't be tempted to use stand fans as they'll just simply spread any droplets of water or aerosol droplets around the room more evenly. Fresh air through a window. Tip number three, use a fabric bell mask on the end of your instrument. Here's a Dennis Wick one. Doesn't affect the sound, but remarkably, a little piece of fabric really has a positive impact on keeping all those water droplets and aerosol particles inside the instrument. Very low pressure air coming out of the brass instrument. So it takes the slightest barrier, in this case cotton, to keep all those aerosols in and not spread them all around your teaching space. Tip number four. Now this might sound really obvious, but make sure you've created and stick to a cleaning, which it really means disinfection, right, for COVID, a disinfection and or quarantine process for your instrument stock. Of course, this is vital and, and not optional if more than one person or set of pupils is using a set of instruments. Now, plastic, brass with lacquer, silver plate, they all have a different amount of time that COVID can survive on them. And in fact, ABS, which our instruments are made out of, is only one day. There's only one day that COVID will survive on ABS. Three days for brass. So you need to plan either disinfection or quarantine that suits your use of instrument stock. Tip number five, really obvious but it needs a little bit of thinking about. We need to make sure that we're aware of and are adequately dealing with the condensation that comes out of our instruments. Um, something that we've all thought about, doing more opportunities and doing whole class, doing large group teaching or even small group teaching, right? Sometimes we just leave a puddle. Sometimes we're in an environment where it, we mop it up Going forward, we've got to be better at this. So we're going to have to mop that up. Um, we're going to have to think of a way of mopping it up with a solution that's going to kill any virus in, in, in there. So uh, have a plan. There are many ways to do it, but you need a plan so that all that condensation that comes out of the instrument is safely dealt with. Um, and of course, it's condensation. We know it's not spit, right? We agree on that. Okay, that's tip number five. So we're getting back to playing brass in schools, which is fantastic. I know some people have got back to school earlier than others, but it's gonna look, look like in come September and during the summer term, we're gonna get back to playing brass all together, which is gonna be wonderful. The more safely we can do this, uh, the more sustainable our activities will be. And we want all those people around us in school, pupils, parents, teachers, administrators and managers to be happy that we're doing everything we can to be safe and that brass playing is a safe, fun, enjoyable 
and educational activity that we can all return to. Any thoughts? Drop me a line. My email's below. Hope this has been useful. If you want more detail, once again, click on the link to my more uh, substantial blog, which within it has got the webinar and the documents uh, from the MIA and from our colleagues in France. Thanks for listening. Bye.